everyone, this is my new setup. Basically, I don't have to record in the garage at the moment because I, I'm in the middle of rearranging my room so I can move around it better. It's kind of a small one. It was made for children. But I, I'm in a position where I can actually record here properly, not, no longer in the garage, so that should be a bit better. And uh, I have a few quick things to talk about. Uh, the first two things are about two new trailers that dropped this week. There's Mary Poppins, y'all, and I guess it's okay. Uh, I only got to see Mary Poppins about once or twice in my childhood, so while Disney was a big thing for me, not everything was. And that includes Mary Poppins. I probably watched Tron a lot more. And not to say it, it looks bad. In fact, I probably should find a way to watch the, the old Mary Poppins movie sometime, but I'm not that excited about the new movie, even if it looks decent. Uh, I'll just wait and see what it's like, if it's any good. And... Uh, yeah, and that, that, that's that. I don't have much to say. Other than, well, the movie does look really trippy. Then again, it is starring Emily Blunt. I am not apologizing for that pun. Uh, then the Captain Marvel trailer, and that one does, does have me more excited. It didn't really get me more excited to see the movie, because I was going to see it anyway. It, it had me hooked at the end of Infinity War. I was, I was basically going, ooh, 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 he, he's calling Captain Marvel, he's calling Captain Marvel, and I've really got to see that even more. So that one I'm going to see anyway. Uh, but as for the trailer itself, it's a glorified teaser, and that's all it needed to be. It's, it doesn't, isn't spectacular, doesn't need to be anything else it just needs to get people interested who weren't going to, who weren't going to see it anyway and if that's the case then it's done its job wonderful uh, but I also am uh, thinking a few things such as if this is successful to, could this lead to maybe Ms. Marvel as I mentioned before getting her own film that, that would be nice <laughs> hell if they want to go really far then to really set apart the, the X-Men that's finally, finally in the MCU they could call it Marvel Girl and the X-Men just to see how many nerds would get set off by that for various reasons like dude she was never not named in the X-Men why are they calling it that I demand perfect continuity and hopefully not the other reasons, but this is just me being silly, and admittedly, Jean Grey is my favorite character in the X-Men, so I think it would be funny if they gave her some prominence there, but that's just me being silly. <laughs> uh, and on to something else that's a bit, not quite as silly, but relieving. Uh, YouTuber Dreamcast Guy did a really good video on, on why Final Fantasy VIII isn't going to be ported to the Switch and Xbox One anytime soon. Uh, it's called The Real Reason Final Fantasy VIII Isn't on PS4 or, or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> just have to look for that. And long story short, the uh, a lot of PlayStation 1 games were made in the era where things like assets and source code weren't really preserved because they didn't realize how much they need them in the future. Even the, the Crash and Spiral remakes had to be made without using the source code. So if there are a lot of those infamous difficulty issues on the Crash trilogy, that's likely the reason. They, they were trying to remake the games from scratch and couldn't get everything to run exactly the, properly because of that. And for the Spiral remake, uh, apparently the developer had to run a program that would monitor the game while it's played and try to measure and, and time everything so that they could backwards engineer the source code. And but as for final, the Final Fantasy tr uh, PS1 trilogy, uh, they can't even use the PlayStation 1 games. <clears throat> the PSN releases uh, don't even quite count because the PlayStation 1 classics are more or less like the virtual console, just ROMs, ROMs run off of PS1 emulators, and of course that's not going to be on any Nintendo or Microsoft systems. So what going to be used are the ports that were made for the PC around the time those games came out. And Final Fantasy 7 and 9 apparently had decent ports, 8 not so much from what I heard. So they're going to have to fix that before they actually do Final Fantasy 8 on other systems. Or we could get a remake, remaster, remix, which I think would be even better because that would help streamline the gameplay as I mentioned in the past video. And then finally there is Sony doing one of the least surprising things ever, and it's a least surprising in a good way, because we've been basically going, Sony, do this. Steal Nintendo's idea. Yes, we know they're not the first to make the the flashback nostalgia system, but they're the first to make it mainstream. Sony, just rip them off. We won't mind. Please do so. And they have. Uh, the only thing is, I question if it's really worth 
$20 more than the SNES Classic instead of just $10 more. Perhaps it's the extra price of the extra flash memory. I, I don't know. But it, but still, I, I don't know if it should be $100. Maybe if the PlayStation 2 Classic, that would be worth $100. But if we're doing PS1, I, I'm not sure that they should have that big of a jump. Even if just... A, especially if they have slightly only slightly fewer games. And... Because the PlayStation 1... The, 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 sorry... The NES Classic, but this is the NES SNES Classic, has a ten dollar difference. Effectively, the, the the first issue for the NES Classic was only sixty dollars, but from what I heard, that was not a very good margin. Not for the system they were trying to make. That, that not only could run the systems, but also keep up to Nintendo's hardware quality standards. So they had to up the price to another ten dollars just to get a good profit margin on this, and. And the SNES Classic has a similar thing, but they added an extra controller, but but also but also fewer games. So, but it's only a difference of ten dollars. So you can almost so you so there's a question of how much is we're bumping up a generation and having more advanced games. How much does that add to the do a premium to the system? How much should that add to the price? And PlayStation almost seems to say this is going to be another ten dollars, and maybe if it's another ten dollars for the extra flash memory, that could be worth it. Or it may turn out they may have to dock the price if the sales aren't as good. But we're going to wait and see. I think it's going to sell well. The PlayStation was, of course, a hit system just like the NES and SNES. But I don't think the N64 and GameCube, should they come along as classics, are going to get away with that higher price because they weren't as successful. They they had some hit games, but for one thing, the, the Nintendo 64's classics going to take a hit because, as others mentioned, they don't have so they wouldn't have some of the rare games. GameCube would probably do better because it, they still got plenty of good games they could add. But so far, it's going to be a wait and see on if the PlayStation Classic will be worth the price. I'm still waiting for someone to basically include their own version of a virtual console and internet because that will really make the system worth it. You can say, hey, we're just getting a bunch of games, but you can also add future games just for the heck of it. Uh, that may be too advanced for some viewers who just want the plug and play, but still, hey... Are we going to wait and see on it? I am looking forward to seeing if it's worth it. We're really looking forward to, Mar to, to Captain Marvel. Oh, so I'll wait and see on Mary Poppins too. And <clears throat> and really hoping Final Fantasy VIII comes, comes along and gets further ports. So far, um, I'm just going to share my thoughts. And damn it, I meant to speak more slowly in this video. I just keep forgetting that. I, I should put some kind of reminder because I have to learn to enunciate more in these videos. I'm try A lot of these early videos are me trying to find my voice. I do have something planned uh, more for uh, my, my channel that's going to have a theme, but I'm saving that for later. Uh, pro probably about next year, and I'll tell you why then. <coughs> but until then, I'll try to, to remind myself to speak more slowly. Hmm. And rambling along, of course, because this is unscripted. You don't need to tell me that further. That's something I'm going to try to fix as well. But otherwise, uh, I'll probably have a better theme for the for the episode or video next time. Okay, see you.